Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more Spaceborne 2. And in the last episode, we got all of the people we were supposed to get. Now, we're heading back to the base in Breon. Or on Breon. Almost there. And let the warp drive cool. Warp drive on There we go, HQ. The surface aligned process is completed. Waiting for the thruster input. See, right now is when it should release. That's two transition things there. Jesus, God. Okay. Oh, you can... Hey, I will give it to him. I do feel drag coming into these areas. You know what I'm saying? You can tell there's a difference in the way the ship handles. Landing gear deployed. Um, from space to ground. Whoa, wrong button. Jeez. All right, let us go see. Yeah, I keep playing around with the various armors that I get. This one had 45 more uh, armor on it, so. You're wondering why his armor constantly looks different. Oh, I'm gonna start it, we. Start another meeting, I guess. Okay. Before we start the meeting, we need to decide on something. We have captured a lot of prisoners in recent battles, but we don't know what to do with them. Our organization needs to decide on a policy in this regard. I think holding captives is dangerous and bad for the reputation of our organization. We should show our enemies that we are more compassionate than they are. Let's return these prisoners to their homes and families. If we follow this policy for a while, our enemies will show us the same treatment. This strengthens our hand in the long run. Uh. The most ridiculous thing I've heard lately. If we release the prisoners, they will appear again with new equipment. And this time, they will be more courageous. After all, they make sure that nothing will happen to them when they surrender. Let's be realistic. Money is what keeps an organization afloat. If we run out of money, these loyal soldiers of yours will stab you in the back. If you want to try, raise military taxes. See what happens. There are two jobs that make the most money. Drug and slave trade. If we enslave these captives and sell them in the slave market and distribute this money to our own soldiers, Ooh. we will both make our soldiers happy and gain more soldiers in long term. How sick you are! I think the most logical thing to do is to proceed with military methods. Let's keep our prisoners as bargain chips. The way we treat the prisoners of the enemy, the same way they treat our captive soldiers. Let's make a suitable prison for them and use it as a bargain and ship and diplomatic deals. Oh god, but so, then you take and you- the last word uh, is yours. Which way do you think we should go? Well, we're not gonna set them free, cause that just- that's not gonna work. That never works. So it's one of these two. Let's see. So we can do th do it as income. 
<sighs> but it makes us look like scum. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to go for the middle Good one. Good call. It is your call. But lots of people are to be fed for nothing, if you ask me. Now that we have decided on this, we can return to our main topic. There is a station named Integration Center in the Heseed System. In the galaxy, it is referred to as the place of Human Integration Station. In that system ruled by House Surrogate. House Surrogate was the weakest family in the galaxy. During the Aprana leadership, they rose using humans. After Aprana's death, his stepdaughter Sura Surrogan took the throne, and I know Sura. She's a complete idiot. I think they are the family that should be wiped out first from the galaxy. I agree. We need to conquer and destroy that station. In this way. We can ensure that the galaxy can hear us, and that the Earthlings can trust us. Before proceeding, I must add that our soldiers are not experienced yet. Entering this battle directly can cause a lot of casualties. I advise you to let your soldier do some freelance missions until they gain combat experience. And how do we Robot do that? is right. It would be wise to let our pilots gain some experience. In the meantime, you can upgrade your ship and weapons. Oh, so we need to as run more as I can um, see, missions. Your ship still has mediocre equipment. However, this does not prevent us from determining our strategy. By the way, I've been telling you for a while that I'm not feeling well. Recently, this situation has started to deteriorate. I'm working on a solution, but it wouldn't make sense for me to join you in this battle. I'm not sure about what is wrong, but my body sometimes gives incomplete or incorrect response to my commands. I don't want to mess things up in such an important battle. That's enough drama. Can we get back to our main topic now? Okay. We Let's need three pilot squads and one dropship for this battle. First, give these roles to your soldiers via the faction interface. Um. Oh, these are my pilots, huh? Oh wow, look at we got plenty of people too. Three pilot squads. I've got four pilot squads. Oh, one drop. But how do we do the drop ship? Oh, ground forces maybe? In order to organize an operation, open the operations panel. Okay, operation. Now select set operation target. Now find House Saragon in the list and click it. Oh, Saragon. Now find and select integration station. Set this station as the operation location. Good, we set our attack target. Now we need to set tactics. So click the open tactical map button. Wait a minute. Um, oh, open tactical. Our goal is to capture the integration station, but the station is surrounded by support buildings. Every support building we capture will weaken the station. And if we land troops on a weakened station, our chances of success will be higher. Okay, I think we should take the turret quarters first, with all the fighter squads we have. Or we can send the troops to turret quarter and one to docks. We don't want surprise ships during battle. Interestingly, 
I agree with Molex. We shouldn't divide our troops. Let's take the turret quarter first. Now push all three fighter squads to the battlefield by pressing the add to battle button, and order an attack on the turret quarter. Which one's the turret? Turbo one, rainforce, rainforce. The thing though is it won't let. Oh. There we go. All right. Good. Now we now got everybody press attacking. Now the next phase button. Okay. After we capture that point, we can divide our force between barracks and shield quarters. Now select these ships and send them to these places. Good. Now press the next phase button. Now select the drop ship and send it to the main building. It is wise to bombard the main building while our soldiers try to take it. You can send fighter squads to the main building to siege. When you are ready, press execute button to send these tactics to squads. Okay. I think we've got everything done. You have determined your strategy for this battle. Okay. You can now close this interface. Order your soldiers to execute battle orders via operations interface. Sure, we're tracking that. Okay, I think we are good now. All right? We with the army escape route. Yeah. So we gotta go take this major station out. Well, that's that's a lot of crap to remember. I can guarantee you, I will be watching this episode myself when I've got to do this again. Escape, uh, so meet army at escape route, Hosoid 16, what is that? Ah. All right, so that's where we're going. So, hold on a second. Going to take me a bit to get all the way over there. Jeez, there we go. Calibration module activated. 
Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. All right, here we are with our group. What's up, kids? Okay. You're going to pop up for us? Integration Center. Integration Station. Close out of work. Hopefully that's the right thing. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Warp drive offline. Whoa. over here So the question then becomes, of course, what do you have to do? Just kill the fighters in this area? I need some help here! Or we actually should... Oh, no. There we go. Okay. I'll get to it right away. That doesn't seem to be working this time. I think we gotta actually kill pilots. There we go. Let's light these boys up. Guys are doing good here. That one's too far out. Who's that one? What else? God, why are they so far over here? Someone following me? He's dead. You 
See, here's part of the problem is that I think this this is kind of bugging out. These guys are taking too so, too it's taking too much to get to them. You know what I'm saying? There's like only one there. All of our fighters are now nowhere near where they're supposed to be. Just in case I'm going to fly in here. To see if this is what I have to do to make sure we completely take this over. Because our guys aren't going anywhere now. Uh, hold control and mouse button. Did that work? There we go. Whoa. All right, so the group that only got the smaller amounts, the one we're going to go support. I need some cover here. All right, that should be it. How far out am I? That far out? Oh, there's a car here. Roger that. All right, you guys gonna fight us or not? All right, We're losing we go. Oh, pretty badly over here. Far out. Whoop, whoop. What are you?
That doesn't look right. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, control. There we go. Oh, right there. I need some help here! Alright, we just gotta get over here and then we'll see what's what. I got no power to shoot. How do we go about destroying the station? See, I'm confused. It did not help us all that much. Right? Step three, we're all here, so now we destroy the station. Yeah, but I don't know. How, it doesn't tell you how to destroy the station. I mean, nothing's highlighted. Oh no. Shield recharging it. Alright, well, let me land there. So, uh, destroy. Confirm destroy. We place the explosives at the station. It will explode in 59 seconds. Everyone, exit the domain. Well, we got the sound effects. I guess I blasted out too far. Oh, how funny. It's all good. Now what? Army is waiting for the general at Hessen's 16th escape route. Okay, let's try going there. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster in the Come to the headquarters now! Brain's gone crazy! Everyone on the 
Oh no. Crap. Okay, so now we got a whole ass to our what station. What the fuck was that? I am not sure. I could only tell that train had gone mad, and that coal that Elysia had managed to escape from there. We better go to HQ right away. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Okay. Warp drive, warp cool drive online. All right. So, tune into the next episode because this is where we're going to go. Again, I'm trying to keep these episodes with all the editing and stuff not too long. And that usually just means one major mission. So, keep your heads down. Your Weapons of Doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.